before the proceedings begin and uh, it is not going to be a rambling kind of lecture I suppose uh, where uh, only one person is speaking and others are just listening like an FM radio station. It, it is not going to be an FM radio station uh, for the next three hours or so. I just want everybody to interact, interact in the sense ask as many questions as possible, right? Because I have a small school in Andhra Pradesh. So when I often go to the school and uh, when I interact with the students one day, a sixth class girl asked me a question, Sir, what I have to do if I have to become an engineer? What was the question asked by the sixth class student? What I have to do if I have to become an engineer. You are already an engineer, right? You know the secret of that. What do you have to do? Pass some exams, plus one, plus two, with high stress levels in the mind, right? Very serious stress. Then, yeah. I just told her that you ask as many questions as possible. You will become an engineer. Then you will have it out, sir, we are already engineers. By accident, because life offers many kind of things which are accidental incidents and incidental accidents. Life offers many things. In that one such accidental incident is becoming an engineer. Right? Or by accident or by incident to become an engineer, sir, we need not ask any questions here after. If you have that kind of mindset, I'm very sorry. Engineers, definition is different. Because today my session name I just called it as Intelligence Processing. Although Mr. Vigo has asked me to speak on VLSI Design and Technology, not only on VLSI Design and Technology, I felt the need of propagating the actual essence of engineering. In fact, I am even having a plan of starting a course called as Essential Engineering. What is that? Essential engineering. See, so are you comfortable with my voice? Shall I put off the mic? Put off the mic? Is it okay now? Yes? Near future. What is essential engineering, sir? The definition of engineering is changing today. Mechanical engineering student who wants to study only mechanical engineering. Electronic student, if you ask a question related to mechanical, he says, sir, and specialized in electronics, you ask something in electronics, right? But this is not the basic need of the engineering. Engineering is a multi-discipline course. In your first year syllabus itself, you can understand. Few courses we are taking from other branches also. But I am addressing a classroom from last week onwards, where I have started a course called as Vedic Engineering Course. According to the basic engineering course in my class, I have 30 students. Okay? 30 students from all the branches of university. Mechanical and engineering, mechanical and production student is there in my class. CSE student is there in my, in my class. IT student, ETC student, EC student, ENI student, PG student is there in class sitting along with the UV student. That means this is a different kind of combination there. A classroom contains 30 students belonging to different branches of engineering. That is the perfect platform for engineering. Fine. That is the intelligence processing is a concept where you will understand what is the essence of engineering and how you apply in VLSI design and technology concept and finally we will see some interesting aspects also. My, my voice is audible last. Okay? Audible? English is okay? Tough English? Huh? My, my Tamil is bad. I, I can't speak this Tamil. So whenever it is needed, I try to do so. Fine? Because your pets are like table pants. Open up the doors of this. of students of Mahalakshmi engineering college. What is the big thing here? The key is a key of success, a key of success that opens up the doors of inspiring creations in electronics. What is IC? IC means? Integrated 
but today I am going to forget, forget the definition. Okay? IC means it is not integrated circuit, IC means inspiring creation. What is that? Today I am going to IC means it is not integrated circuit, it is inspiring creation. I have seen here nearly 60 inspiring creations in the created by God. Yes? There are 60 inspiring creations created by God I am seeing today. Same way you are going to uh, visualize different kinds of inspiring creations created by man. Understand? There is a lot of difference between what God has created and what man has created. Right? We will see the difference now. Please. What is this? Can you identify anybody? What is this island name? Sir, what is this sir? Electronics and farm island, how it is related sir? Huh? Why we have to start with something called as Dubai here? We went to Dubai now, we are in Dubai right now. Right? The farm island is a wonderful creation of man and earth right now. Because to create that island, how many islands are naturally formed places? Yes? But here island is artificially created by man. You need lot of manpower, you need lot of engineering skills, you need lot of architects, many number of architects, as well as many many mechanical engineers, civil engineers, electronics engineers, and they are all IT professionals, everybody into it. But that means this is a perfect product of engineering. Yes? When you see a farm island, it is a manifestation of a perfect product of engineering. Please, next slide. What is this? Intelligence. So, intelligence. Intelligence means, normally student complains that, Sir, my friend is very intelligent. I am not intelligent. Only class topper is intelligent. I am not intelligent. Within one minute, your view towards the intelligence is going to change. Right? Shall I do it otherwise? I think I am disturbing you. So that means, can anybody tell the definition of intelligence here? Anybody? What is intelligence? Sir, it is something given by God only to some people. Is it so? Huh? It, it, is, a, it is a gift of God to some fortunate people. Is it so? Certainly not. Okay. Intelligence is inherent. Inherent means it is there within us. It is not there outside. Okay. You are not borrowing from outside. It is well within us. And uh, when it is needed, it will come out. Whether it or not. Yes? Whether it is there in this line? In, huh? At the end of this session, VLSI, suddenly intelligence related to VLSI comes out like a sporadic emission there. Right, down under the corner of brain somewhere else. Is it so? Can we see this as intelligence? Next slide please. Okay. At least we can call this as intelligence. Many books, laboratory, calculations, four year engineering course, everything you keep inside. Is it intelligence? What you get when you keep everything inside? You will get an A4 sheet. What is that A4 sheet? Marks. Master room. Right? When you keep everything inside, put a button, write the exams and uh, you will get one mark sheet. The mark sheet says that yes, 9.5 rate, 9.5 CCPA, over. Is it, is it the resemblance of intelligence we are talking about? No. Yes. You see, regarding intelligence, a mechanical engineer has spoken. Or I can say he is not even a mechanical engineer also. Is a chairman of automobile, famous automobile corporation. Who is that? Henry Ford. Ford cars, you know, right? Ford cars. This guy has spoken about intelligence. What he has spoken? Find you simply the opportunity to begin again, this time more intelligent dream. That means, when you get some temporary pain go, what you have to do? You should not stop them, sir. As if the world is over. Right? We have to start again, this time more intelligently. 
That means, sir, if you want to become intelligent, you want to ask us to pay it two, three times? No, sir. I am not asking you to pay it two, three times. If unforeseen failure comes in your journey of learning, don't worry about it. Success is ahead when you take the decision once again to move forward. Understand? So this is what Ethi Paul said. Next. Then, sir, slowly I am taking you towards intelligence. What is needed for intelligence? Imagination. Okay? Imagination is needed for intelligence. It is more important than knowledge. What do you get knowledge? Say, after listening to the hours of this session, you may be getting small amount of knowledge related to VLSI or electronics. Yes? That is not enough. What you have to do? You have to imagine based upon the knowledge what we have gained through listening. Right? Then only the doors of intelligence gets opened up. Next slide. There are some machines which actually process the knowledge. So the earthquake is happening. Right? You are going to get some earthquake. There is a computer called as Spherin. The name of the computer is Spherin computer which crosses the knowledge of it and it delivers the information. Oil and Natural Gas Corporation normally uses another computer called as Advisor. The computer name is Advisor which processes the data related to the ONGC wells and it delivers to you the information that is required for the officials to go to the places without much efforts. Right? So these are knowledge processing computers. Next. If you see the definition of intelligence, so the definition goes in many ways, but according to me, the last word is very important. What is the last word? <laughs> Learning. So how I am treating intelligence as? Intelligence is all about learning only. Learning consistently. Okay? That is the reason why you are sitting in the auditorium today. Understand? Apart from the regular ways of learning the course, today you are interested to learn something unconventional. Right? So that is the reason why the intelligence doors may open up today. You see. Next. Yes. It is very important for getting some intelligence. What are the different types of learning we are having? Four types are there. Data processing, information processing, Knowledge processing as well as intelligence. So our hero is last, last place. Who is the hero? Intelligence processing. Very good. The first one is data processing. Data processing means today 5:30 is a fish show for the public Okay. And around 6:30 arrive to the guest house. And around 9 or 9:15 or 9:30 is the campus. At around 10 5 he started the session. Right? So I have generated some data to them on. This data I am generating with respect to time. Understand? If anybody takes a note of all this data, or whatever is happening now is taken as a video. Right? In the sense, whatever happens, you are just recording them. When you record them with respect to time, you call it as data process. Our ancestors used to do this data process. But later stages, information process. Sorry? Yes, information process. Information processing in the so-called IT field, IT industry. But I want to know what is the difference between data and information. Can anybody? What you call it as a data and what you call it as an information. Any difference is there? Information theory subject is there for you? Right? In UG, what is the difference between data and information? Huh? Uh, while coming to your college, I have seen a dog biting a man. Data. Right? When I say this, you may be uh, uh, scratching on your head like this. To say this, he has come all the way from Chennai. Okay? A dog biting a man. Instead of that, if I have said like this, while coming to your college, I have seen a group of people biting a dog very interestingly. What I have said? While coming to your college, I have seen a group of people somewhere sitting and biting the dog very interestingly. Then you say, sir, tell me the place that you want to see it. Yes. Where it is happening, in which state is it happening? It is called as information. That means, 
very very rare data, less probable data is called as information. Right? Next comes this slide. What is this slide? What have I said you know, up to now and just uh, I put in a slide. So that particular green color is called as data processing. Let me use the mind process. Fine. And uh, inside that yellow color is information processing. And we have a circle there. The circle is knowledge processing. Inside that there is a red circle, it is intelligence processing. Right? I just don't wait you so much time to understand what is intelligence. For example, I am lighting a candle here. So all of us know from basic science book that when you lit up a candle, it gives light and heat. Yes, when you lit up two together, dummy components, right? So when you do that, generally you get some light as soon as heat. Then what I did is, I just put my finger inside it, inside the can. Then what happens? My finger gets heated up, I take back my finger. Am I correct or not? If I have taken back, I experience the heat. Am I correct? Please understand my words. I am experiencing the heat. So experiencing the heat gives knowledge. What it gives? Knowledge. Most of the students will have a question. Sir, theory itself is okay now sir. Why laboratory again? Right? Why in engineering course labs we have to do many labs sir. EDC lab, this lab, that lab, physics lab, chemistry lab. Why labs are required sir? Labs are required because we experience. What for it is? Experience. Now what happened now? What's your name? Satya also want to do the same. So Satya has come and she is trying to put her finger inside. If I am seeing that and enjoying like a savage, okay, then I am a fool. Correct or not? Because already I got the pain and other human being is also trying to get the pain. If I am enjoying the demon, I am a fool. If I am not doing that, and I am saying to Satya that please don't do it, you will be hurted, then I will be What is the difference now? What is the difference between fool and intelligent? Applying the knowledge is called as intelligence. You got the point now? So what is intelligence? Whatever you have learned, you have to apply. This is where our engineering system is waiting for you. Understand? We are learning so many things that we are not having proper windows to apply. Right? But when can you apply? When you learn two or three things, when you think in a different way. If you have a patience of being with me for another two hours, I will show you with different examples that how can we think differently in engineering. Yes? Perception of thinking will be changed. Sir, what is perception of thinking, sir? What is perception of listening, sir? For example, let me share an incident to you. There is a father from last 10 years and these two children grown up. Right? And when they grow up, much elder, this fellow visited one day to elder son's home. When he visited elder son's home, elder son is drinking at, at uh, broad daylight at around 12 a.m. Right? right? Uh, 12 o'clock noon, sorry. Then uh, he got surprised. What is this? 12 o'clock you are drinking? Then uh, the, the elder son has replied like, what you are expecting me to do? I got inspired by my father. What he has told? I got inspired by my father. I have seen my father doing it regularly. So I am doing What is wrong with this? Then this fellow is the second son's home. Okay? Second son is doing a prayer, puja. He is doing a very big prayer there at around 12 o'clock also. Then he asked very slowly, Guy, what is wrong with you? Your brother is drinking there and you are doing prayer. What is your secret? Then he told, What do you expect me to do? My father is my inspiration. What he told? My father is my inspiration. So who is the inspiration for elder son? Who is the inspiration for elder son? So inspiration is same. 
Inspiration is same, but the way you get inspired is changing. Am I correct or not? Yes, same in the classroom. Same lecture of teaching to all the students in the classroom, but some of them are getting inspired more with that particular lecture and some are not. So wrong is not in this side of the classroom, where it is there? The other side of the classroom where your, your reception levels are different. Understand? But this, this is not a complaint you will make when you are watching a movie or cricket match. Yes? When you are watching a movie, if somebody pinches your hand also, you do like this, like one mosquito falling here. And you continue watching the article. Some people even don't bother about it also. When somebody cut one finger also, they won't make it nice. Watching movie or not? That concentration level, why it doesn't come to your classroom? If it comes, you need not practice it. You just listen it, you go and write your letter. Understand? This is what I have experienced and I have been doing it consistently. What my point? Next. So this slide actually I prepared, I have taken that. Uh, I am starting and getting into it. Intelligence means it is a property of only human beings, sir. No other creation of God is having this intelligence. Anybody is having this opinion? Anybody? Anyone wants to agree with me? Only human beings are having intelligence, sir. No other creation of God is as intelligent as human being. Do you agree with me? No. Do you watch Discovery Channel regularly? Yes. If you watch, top 10 hunters will be there. A program called as top 10 hunters in the world. In the top 10, man is not there. You understand? In the top 10 hunters, man is not there. Who is there? First is a shark. Right? And when you go down, around 6 to 7 creatures are underwater. Right? 6 to 7 creatures are underwater. So who are more intelligent now? Underwater creation is more intelligent than above the water creation. Understand? There is a very famous joke is there also. One, one big fish and one small fish are talking. Right? Mother fish and baby fish are talking. Suddenly baby fish asks that, Ma, why those uh, people are out? What it says? We are fish. We are under the water. They are selfish. They are outside the water. So that is how they, they have jokes on human beings. Right? So, more intelligent creation. This is, you see, this is the evolution of learning. When you say, where it is started, as I told in my story, it started with fish. After fish, frog. Everybody are lying in their seats back, very comfortably, and almost sleeping in a computer lab and just eating their keyboard. They do it or not? Yes. That means we are in this fourth stage. Now, the next stage is, what is the next stage? DNA. That means people don't use computers, people's DNA starts using the computer. For example, Aadhaar card. Right? Aadhaar card and memory is there now. Using that number, we are going to interact with the people. So, this is what a perfect example of intelligence processing. DNA. Next. For example, you take one uh, Prime Minister of India, so he knows nearly 14 languages, right? He mastered, so that is linguistic intelligence, musical intelligence. Example, Ilanaja, Ya Ratma, right? They have musical intelligence. Now we have other two intelligence. What is that? Interpersonal intelligence, intrapersonal intelligence. Interpersonal intelligence means how you are interacting with the other members of the classroom. How you are sharing the knowledge. Intrapersonal means how you are developing yourself. You know the definition of education? Education means developing from within, not from outside. Right? Education should bring a change to human being. People say, you are an educated person now, why you are behaving like this? Means what? Educated people are expected to behave in a more organized manner. What my point? If that behavior is not brought to that individual because of education, I believe he is not educated, she is not educated. Understand? So, engineering means, when engineer is walking into an auditorium, that kind of honor should 
we did it. Oh yes, we are interacting with an engineer. It should be like that. It is not like we are interacting with some X and Y and Z. Yes? X. Huh? Which hero in which movie? What is this? Somebody is saying the answer. Robert. Robert. Very good. Appreciate him, ma. Please stand. Please stand. Appreciate him. Sit down. What's your name? Yeah, very good. So it is nothing but human on it. What is this? Human on it. So I have been talking about intelligence now from last few minutes. Then I just want to show you a form of intelligence of man's creation. It is nothing but human on it. It is almost looking like a girl. I mean, right or not, but it is a robot. You know, this, this particular robot is, today it is a feasible solution because of two technologies. Many other technologies are there, most prominently according to the situation I am just so talking about two technologies. One is VLSI technology. What is that? One is VLSI technology. The other one is embedded, embedded unit. Okay? Or embedded system or robotics. Whatever name you want, you can give to it. So basically why I have shown this slide to you, to say what a VLSI technology can do and to what extent it can offer us. Right? Next. Normal brain. It is a VLSI brain. What is this brain it is? VLSI brain. What is the difference between normal brain and VLSI brain? Normal brain is full of? Full of neurons. Okay? But uh, VLSI brain is half the neurons, half the chip. Chip only, no? The second one is chip. So in the sense, what I ask the student now, don't dump everything in your brain. Don't dump a lot of stuff in your brain. Leave some space to creativity. Understand? Leave some space to arts. So, need not be purely technical in nature, always reading books. Have some relaxation. And then uh, it helps you to perform very well technically, extend very well. Understand? The uh, then I divided the chamber into two. One is technical, the other one is non-technical. So it, should, it is the case. The engineer says, we have to perform like an engineer, think like a scientist. It is very important. Right? You should always have a question, why in your mind? Without why, you should not listen any class. Why sir, why you are doing this? Why you are asking like this? Why you are saying this point? What is the reason behind this? So why should be the mantra of listening? Yes? Next. Scenario. I'll show some slides, interesting slides to you how the evolution of engineering has taken place. Some of the people belong to old, right? In olden days, 18th century and all, only theory people used to think. Later experiments, people have done some experiments, scientists. Today modern day scientist means who is, who is modern day scientist you know? He is not necessarily belonging to theory, necessarily belonging to experiment, but bridging the gap between experiment and theory he is called as computational engineer, computational researcher, computational scientist. That means he is providing the mathematical proof between the theory as well as experiment. Mathematical agreement between theory as well as experiment. Right? Now, for example, you just go. Next slide. Yes. Who is this? Let's go through it. Democritus. He is the first theoretical physicist who developed the idea of atom. Next. Next. Who is this? John Dalton. What he has done? He told that actually the matter is fully composed of atoms and they do have some elasticity between them. Next. Who is this? So those two people are theoretical. Example for theoretical physics. And this person is an example for experimental scientists. Right? Rutherford Alpha Ray Scattering Experiment. Do you know that? Uh, this is so you can ask you will always have a doubt, student will have a doubt that VLSA you hold no. You you promised us to teach VLSA, right? You are showing some pictures, uh. the question is there in mind, yes? Please me. So who is this? Rudan Ford is an Alba Ray Scattering Experiment. Next. Okay. What is name? 
means more. What is the speciality of means more? What is the speciality? Huh? Means more is having has done one good thing and one bad thing to us. Good thing is he told how the actually how the atom composition is there. Bad thing is he told how the atom composition is there. So good thing and bad thing is same only. In the sense if an electron is revolving around the nucleus continuously, if it loses energy, what happens? It loses energy continuously, it falls into the nucleus. Then there is no atom. Correct or not? Atom gets collapsed. If there is no atom, there is no molecule. If there is no molecule, there is no compound. If there is no compound, there is no semiconductor compound. If there is no semiconductor compound, there is no IC, there is no meals. Yes, one big headache is gone. Can we help or not? So he has done bad. He has done something good. What is good? If electron continuously loses energy, you know that it falls into the nucleus. You have a fear in your life that when this atom gets collapsed, can you live comfortably? You can't, right? Means both said that no more electrons, although they lose energy, or as long as they revolve in that particular orbit, they don't lose the energy. Then be comfortable, be happy, right? Atoms are not going to collapse anymore. But this is what good he has done to the mankind. Yes? Next. Electronics. Father of electronics means now he is not a father anymore. Grand, grand, grandfather. Okay? Is a grandfather of electronics. Can you guess who is he? Thompson. Right? Go next slide. He has discovered electron because of that electron is branches coming to line line. Yes? Next. Yes, next please. Because we have many things to study. Next. This fellow. We love him a lot. Every day we think about him. In every classroom we have this. Ah, we say reaction. For every action, there is an equal and But why right and the lecturer ask a question in a classroom, there won't be any reaction. Ah? So you can serve that you like a lot, right? So for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. In such case, when lecturer asks, action is there, why there is no reaction? Why some people are uh, sleeping, some, some people will be smiling? Silence. Huh? That violence lecturer cannot tolerate for a long time. Huh? So Newton's third law paints in our classrooms, if we apply. Correct or not? So Newton has done many things. Regarding Newton, I will tell you one interesting aspect. Einstein, you know, right? Let me join that picture also very well, very well. And then one or two minutes. Einstein, after every invention, he is having a portrait, big portrait of Newton in his chamber. He used to go to Newton's portrait and say, forgive me, Newton, I am very sorry. Why? Everything what Einstein has proposed has proven that Newton's laws are wrong. Okay? Everything what Einstein comes up with is almost against to what Newton has proposed. Right? So Newton is the inspiration for Einstein, but he used to say, forgive me Newton, I have done something against what we have said. Right? This is the relation those two used to say. Who is this guy? Marconi Radio. Right? He is also one of the expert in the scientists. Next. Now, the first, so today's trend is, what is today's trend? Computational engineering. What is the speciality of Charles Darwin? Nature loves symmetry, right? This is a cycle. Wherever you start, you will come back to the same place. Old days, very big pants. After that, jeans pant. Now again, boot cut. What is this boot cut? Boot cut is more or less like bell bottom. Correct? Even I don't leave this part of the glass house. Why we have to leave them? Old hero in very big handbags. Right? After that, small, small handbags. Now, once again, gunny bags. Correct or not? Yes. So, style is coming. Style is cycling or not? Yes. This is what Darwin has said. But when Darwin has proposed this, 
One cartoon has come on Darwin. The cartoon is this. What is the cartoon? Mr. Darwin, some of your relative is waiting outside the room. Who is the relative of Darwin? Chimpanzee. Who is the relative? So this is how people are sarcastic about Darwin when he has proposed something new. Normally the world doesn't agree something in an unconventional way immediately. Okay, it takes its time to agree. Just like our class. Yes? Because our class is like, it is not conventional now today. We are listening something which is unconventional. In an unconventional fashion. So it takes time to digest. Yes? Max Planck. Planck's model number, you know, E is equal to H nu. Have you listened to the relation? Photoelectric equation E equals to H nu. That H is proposed by Planck. He is a computational researcher. Next. The reason is, D theory is just like you and me. Because he is very young when he proposed the dual theory of light. When he proposed the dual theory of light, nobody answered. Nobody answered. Then his friends actually collected all his research papers. He threw it into a compartment where Einstein was standing. Okay? So when D theory said nobody accepted. Einstein has read the papers and he is going to attend a conference. He was going to attend a conference at the time. He told that there is a concept, it seems, like dual theory of light. Uh, a German research scholar has proposed, his name is Dean Roy means world immediately accepted. Why? Because today, this time who said? Einstein said. Yes. Uh, later, Nobel Prize also awarded this guy. So we can have a clap for this, Dean Roy, because he is one of the main for is one of the youngsters youngster, while doing his PG, master's degree, proposed this year. Next. Albert Einstein. You know, I will tell you, in the afternoon session, afternoon session, whether they are coming back again? Yes. Afternoon session, I will tell you an interesting aspect related to Einstein. Remember, okay, in my pocket also, you please uh, make me do. Tell Next. So these three people are working towards computational engineering. Right? Next. What is this? Sir, I think you have planned something big for us that day. You started your class like slow poison. Slowly you are taking us to different places. How, sir? We are in a very remote place in Tamil Nadu. Right? It is not remote. Trichy is, I think, center, right? But even then, far away from Trichy, how do you expect us to achieve more through intelligence processing? Your question may be like this. You have the question or not? Yes? Sir, how we can achieve intelligence processing? Just look at the slide. If they can achieve something, why can't you can achieve something? This is my question. Yes? If these so-called average individuals can achieve something meaningfully in their life, why you or me cannot achieve that? Only thing what we have to do is, what we learn, we have to apply. This is what the theme of the class today. So what is this guy? So called superstar, at 25, anybody knows that he is a bus conductor. And this new by Ambani, he worked in a petrol pump. Yes. And uh, you see this Abraham Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln life is full of failures. One time he got success, that is, he became president of US, America. Right? So just look at those people, such a kind of failure of 10 standard. You are engineers. Yes, you are more learned people than so called individual there. He got his fame because he understood what is the quality in him and he applied. Only thing what we have to do is you have to understand the talent in yours. Right? And you need to work upon that. Got my point? Next slide. This is what? Of olden days. Next slide. What is this? Tablet computer of modern days. So, off amp of olden days, go to the last slide. Off amp of olden days is having some cube like structures. Go to the next slide. Modern day computer. So, what is the journey? The journey is very, very fast and fast, right? So, that means from vacuum tubes to we are into tablet computers. 
one of the reason for this kind of development is application of consistent intelligence by man through a technology called as real estate. Yes, through a technology called as real estate, he would be able to achieve this place. So let us see what is real estate. Real estate means very large scale integration. How large it is? How large? Huh? You take one of the transistors integrated means, suppose if I have to connect one lakh transistors, one lakh components, I need a football ground, very big ground, right? I need a football ground, I need to place the components and I have to wire them. But your IC741 is something which you can mount on your finger. Can you tell it or not? It's a black color, junior inline package, thin package, okay? So components, or one lakh of components is a football ground. From that area, we are minimizing the area of the component to a place where you can, you can put the component on the finger. How it is possible? Once again, the answer is, answer is, what is the class we are talking about? Louder. Louder. VLS. Right? That is the speciality of VLS. Now, I'll give one more example for this college or some other entrance examination, you normally take passport size photograph. So an applicant has pasted a passport size photograph. The moment the application is seen by the so-called individual, for example, your principal sir has seen the application, right? Immediately, the photograph says, good morning sir. Will it say? Will it say? Will the passport size photograph say, good morning sir? No. If the good morning has to be told, that individual has to come now. That individual has to come and say good morning. So, but you see the other case. One lakh components, you are connecting in a football ground, they are doing a job. The same components supply real estate technology, take an IC on your finger top, even if it is doing the same option. What was the point here? That means, there when you take a photograph, the functionality is lost. It, it won't function, it is just a photo. But same kind of concept when you apply through DLSI technology, still it functions. That is the beauty of it. Right? Here also we do photo. This photo is called as photo lithography. What do you call it as? Photo lithography. Photo lithography means it is different from normal photography. So you take this blueprint of this particular components, you take a photograph, I show you the pictures you can understand, but bluntly I am speaking, take the photograph, the electrical properties of this particular circuit are transplanted into an IC. What my point? Take the photograph, electrical properties of this particular circuit has been transplanted onto an IC. This is called as photolithography. So this is the difference between photolithography and normal photography what we see. So normal photography is all about taking the photograph and reducing the size. Here we take the photograph, photolithography technique we apply and we translate the behavior of the circuit into an integrated platform. Next. This is a Japanese technology. Have you seen this computer any time? Yes or no? Louder? No. no. But this computer speciality is, what is the speciality of this computer? It is a keyboardless, processorless, monitorless, everything is less only here. We have only two pen, pen like structures. One structure actually focuses the keyboard on any flat top. Okay? And the other structure will uh, take one another focusing uh, uh, pen, pen like device and which actually gives you the screen on any flat surface like this. Only thing what you need to do is you should switch on these two pens and type on the keyboard which is there. If you can switch on the light, they can just uh, see that clearly. Yes, you see that here in this projector and this computer is a depocker for that. Okay. Even laptops we are using, but this is one revolution. Next. Next. 
this technology. It is also a technology that helps communication between two another at this level. Next. And this is another one. Apart from software defined radio, there is another radio people are talking about. It is intelligent radio. What is this radio? Intelligent radio. Suppose I am, I am working in an ambient conditions. Temperature is too low. There are also the radio functions. If temperature is too high, then also it automatically adjusts to it. So this kind of radio is called as cognitive radio. This is an extension of SDR, software different radio, which is also an example for the revolution in the communication field. Next. Now, intelligent cycle. After talking about intelligent cycle, cycle I will break for two minutes. Because whatever we have seen. Exams. When you have exams? So here for me, how many months are there? Huh? One month only. This is only February, right? March is there for one and a half month. Okay, one month let us have. How many subjects do you have? Six subjects. So how many days are there? Thirty days. In your account, okay, thirty days. So thirty days, six subjects. How you divide this? Five subjects? Okay. So that means each subject gets five days. Six subjects, each subject gets five. Today we have listened to Kishore's class. We, have, we want to do something intelligent, first thing. First, let us plan our exams. The so first plan is there. What is the timetable? We write a timetable now. What is the timetable? Six subjects, 30 days, each subject five days. Correct? 15 days goes very fastly. Right? 15 days goes very fastly. 